Rachel Mayo. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. I'm going to be talking about vertex conjunctions in Sinistry. What is the vertex? It's a mathematical point in your birth chart. It is also called the electric axis or the fated destiny point. This video is more of an introduction about the vertex. If you want to know more about what happens when it's activated, I suggest that you listen to this entire video. So what is synastry? Synastry is when we combine two charts, superimpose them on top of each other to see what context we have between the planets. What is each of you bringing to the table, to the relationship? This is how we determine the karma, this is how we determine the karma and longevity of the relationship. If so if you're starting out a relationship or you are in a relationship but you can't figure out what's going on, what the karma is, what, what, what is the purpose of this relationship, I suggest that you book a reading with me I have 40% off synastry readings for a limited time so book now personally I would never go into any type of long-term relationship without knowing what the synastry looks like the vertex in a chart is usually located closer to the descendant starting from the fifth house sixth house seventh house or the eighth house so when the vertex is found in the fifth house you're the type of person who's more carefree towards love and commitment you want to have fun in your relationships and when the vertex is found in the sixth house, your level of commitment to the person is through service. You want to help the other person. You have this sense of duty and obligation in your relationship approach. In your relationship approach. And if the vertex is found in the seventh house, you have to have a person who desires commitment. You desire marriage. You always desire to be in a relationship. You always desire to be in a relationship with another person in a committed agreement. And when the vertex is found in the eighth house, you're the type of person who is all or nothing when it comes to relationships. You want to possess the soul of the other person. You want a deep bonded commitment. So the vertex and the anti-vertex basically shows who we are or what we are unconsciously attracted to. And opposite the vertex is the anti-vertex. The vertex is also considered the second ascendant and the anti-vertex the second descendant. Some astrologers say the anti-vertex is not as strong as the vertex. I strongly disagree with that, especially based on the experiences I've had in my own natal in my own natal birth chart. I really think it depends on what conjunctions you have either to the vertex or the anti-vertex. So, so basically, how is your vertex or anti-vertex aspected? This is how you're going to determine which is the end. This is how you're going to determine which is the more activated entry point. So basically, it depends on whether you have more aspects to the anti-vertex or the vertex. I have more aspects to my anti-vertex. So each time there's a conjunction to my anti-vertex, I always experience a significant event. It's also the planet that conjuncts the vertex and all the other aspects to it. The vertex in the synastry represents unexplainable or fated destined events. A lot of married couples have significant vertex and anti-vertex contacts in their synastry. So if you see significant conjunctions in your synastry, don't get overexcited. This does not necessarily mean that this is the love of your life and you're going to live happily ever after. It doesn't work that way. It just means that this person is going to bring significant change or transformation in your life. There is major karma that has to be played out or delivered by this contact. So whichever way you look at it, the vertex is very, very important in synastry. This aspect is found in soulmates, twin flames, the love of your life. I prefer to call it soulmates. Others will say twin flames. So you choose whichever label that you're most comfortable with. This is a very, very significant conjunction in synastry and I get really excited when I find this aspect because I know that when this vertex is triggered, it's going to bring life-changing, it's going to bring a life-changing event in your life. Something really fated, something you signed up for, something very karmic. The vertex is triggered by general transits, but mostly I prefer to see the vertex really triggered in your solar return chart or perhaps in your progress chart or, or in your solar arc charts. When the vertex is activated by a transit, you're going to meet this person very unexpectedly out of the blue, out of the blue, totally unplanned. It's when fate and destiny aligns. This is what brings the two of you together and you immediately, and you immediately feel a very, very strong connection to each other. You feel right away that you've met somebody who's going to be really significant in your life. This person will change your life in a way that you've never felt before. Trust me, I've had my anti-vertex majorly triggered at least three times in my life. And each of these triggers brought a life-changing relationship into my life. 
So whoever the vertex owner or the anti-vertex owner is going to feel like they've met the man or the woman of their dreams when this point is triggered. So when I met my soulmate, my late husband, unfortunately, grateful to have had the time I had with him until he died, until he died in a car accident. We have the classic soulmate twin flame conjunctions. I have my vertex in the fifth house in the sign of Aries. My anti-vertex is in the sign of Libra. My anti-vertex is in the sign of Libra in the 11th house. He had his vertex in the sign of Libra and his anti-vertex in the sign of Aries. So we had the perfect opposition and it was an exact conjunction. My anti-vertex is at 20 degrees of Libra. I have a conjunction of Uranus and Spica at about 22 degrees of Libra. And this is in the 11th house. This is an electric axis. It's a, it's a fated point in my chart. And whenever it gets triggered, I have a significant meeting or a, signif or a significant event. Being that my anti-vertex is in the 11th house, we met in a club. And of course, my vertex is in the 5th house. We had an opposition of the houses going on here as well. I'm a Scorpio rising and he was a Taurus rising. So our houses opposed. He had gone out that night with the intention of having some drinks and relaxing. And that's the activation of his fifth house. And I was also out in a club, 11th house. Of course, there's a bigger story to the events that happened for that fated meeting to occur at that exact time. The transit that was happening that very day is that Juno was exactly conjunct my anti-vertex, suggesting that on that very day, I would meet somebody who was destined and somebody who was a soulmate, a twin flame, someone who would be involved in some type of significant committed relationship. My husband, Natalie, has Pluto conjunct Juno. So basically, he had a Juno return on that very day. It's almost as if we had agreed in a past life to meet in this current life at a particular place and time. Let's also keep in mind that the 11th house where my anti-vertex is, is the house of wish fulfillment. It's a house that rewards all the work that you did in the 10th house. So perhaps I deserve this relationship. Being that his vertex is in the 5th house, and the 5th house is the house of true love, romance, fun, creativity. It is also the house of our past life karma. And this karma is the karma of good luck in this lifetime. It could be that he did a good deed in a past life and it earned him and it earned him this relationship in this lifetime. And this is another point or fact that is confirming the whole twin flame and soulmate aspect. And as a matter of fact, because we knew that we were really destined to be together and it was really important for us to cement the relationship, we actually got married two months after meeting. As you can see, this electric axis, this karmic fated destined point can really absolutely change your whole life. Astrology is quite amazing. Sinistry is a very powerful tool that can be used to determine the karma or longevity of a relationship. So the other reason why I think my anti-vertex is actually much more powerful than the vertex is simply because of the conjunctions that I have to my anti-vertex. My natal Uranus is conjunct lucky fixed star Spica. Spica is a very, very fortunate star. This lucky conjunction squares my natal Jupiter. This is known to be as the millionaire's aspect in astrology. I'm not a millionaire yet, but perhaps it will happen one day. Just keep buying those sinistry chart readings. <laughs> Each time this conjunction has been majorly triggered, I do have a very out of the blue lucky event occur in my life. It's always like I've won the lottery in some way. I always try to keep an eye and watch for possible transits to my anti-vertex. As you can see, the vertex is an important point in your chart. This is a point in your chart that, that could definitely bring a really fated relationship when it's triggered. So take a look in your chart. Do you know where your vertex point is? Do you know how it's aspected? Have you had any fated encounters or relationships that began when this point was triggered? If you have, if you have, I'd love to hear your story. So leave me a comment in the comment section of this video. Also remember to hit like, share and subscribe. You never know who needs to hear about these sinistry aspects. So if you found this video interesting, make sure you subscribe because I will be making a part two and I will also talk about some of my other personal experiences.